Hello survivors, I'm back after a long time. I'm extremely sorry for not uploading recently. I was on vacation, and now I'm back. This video was requested by a lot of you. So without wasting much time, let's get to the video. First of all, there are three types of mutation cores, freeze, burn, and electric. Each of these categories has a whole variety of different mutation cores. Let's see how to start up a mutation core. Select the mutation core you want to upgrade and click star up. Now, select an identical mutation core, and then select the mutation droplets. Click star up. That's all you have to do to upgrade a mutation core. Easy, right? Now let's upgrade some cores. The easiest way to get more mutation cores is through exchanging them. Let's take a look at how to exchange mutation cores. First, go to the exchange shop and choose a random core pack, which you can redeem using ARC coins or something like that, which you can obtain by doing ARC city quests and crystal hunts. Now let's talk about the best mutation cores to use on each weapon. For flamethrowers, you can use the firefly meteor, and for assault rifles, the best one is light speed pursuit. For shotguns, use the double blast, and for melee weapons, you can use either lightning will or swift fire blade. When it comes to pistols or revolvers, we can use either pulse flash or blessed ice crystals, and for M guns, we can use M curtain. For howitzers, we can either use detonation rocket or absolute zero. Let's take a look at how to fuse a mutation core. First of all, Go to core development. For one fusion, you need 10 mutation gel and one energy cell, both of which can be obtained from daily quests and arc city quests. You can either do a standard activation or high energy activation. It depends on you and your bank account. As I'm broke, I'm gonna use the standard one. And yeah, that's junk. Let's test some of the best mutation cores. First, let's see how much damage this Hoitzer gives without a mutation core. The initial damage was 3479, and now let's equip the detonation rocket core, and see the difference. The initial damage was 6641, and it greatly increases the area of explosion. This is why I said this is one of the best chips for a howitzer. Now let's test the assault rifle damage without a core, and with light speed pursuit core. Without a core, it was 693, and with a core, it's 701. But the firing rate has increased dramatically, and movement speed also increased, so it's still a win. Finally, let's test the flamethrower with Firefly Meteor. Without a core, the damage is 517. And after equipping the core, it's 543 pretty good, right? That's not all. There will be even much more damage after the core gets activated. So that's it for today's video. Guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you understand almost everything about the mutation core. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, and consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind.